Hi there. Welcome to Tech Talks by George. Today, in fact, it was just last week, I was in a Toastmaster meeting and we had a fellow Toastmaster that was trying to do a PowerPoint presentation and she struggled mightily trying to get it started. Well, I don't want that to happen to her or anyone else. Let's go over today how to effectively use PowerPoint on the Zoom platform. Let's do this. First off, whether you have your Zoom platform open or not, go open your PowerPoint. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go open my PowerPoint. One, two, there. Open. I'm going to bring up the file and get it into presentation mode. That is the slideshow mode. There we go. And then I'll hit slideshow from the beginning. There we are. All right, now I'm coming. Here we are. Okay. Here in Zoom, I'm going to hit the share button. And the share button, I see so many people struggle finding that. It's right there in the middle. It's that green button. So I'm going to click on the share button and pops up almost everything I have open on my computer, including my PowerPoint. I'm going to just merely click on my PowerPoint presentation. This one in the second row, second one over. So I'll double click or I'll click once and share. So double click brings it open. I'll close that control panel so it's not in our way. Okay, now the program's open. The PowerPoint is open in Zoom. Now that was pretty easy. Now I click once just on the PowerPoint itself and you can see it moving forward and backwards. You can also use the keys to move forward and backwards. The arrow keys, that is. So either way, and you can move through. Part of the problem is that you're relegated to a little teeny box up in the corner. But I'll show you another method that brings that box out of the corner. So we'll see that in a moment. This is one way to do it. You hit the share button, you get your pop-up screen, you click on your PowerPoint presentation, and then you're off and running. Also, down here in the corner, you can see there's arrows for moving through the slides back and forth. So you have control here through PowerPoint, through Zoom, working together. This is pretty straightforward. If you're not a computer geek or buff, use this method and you'll find yourself working through your PowerPoint presentations very well. I mean, it's just straightforward. It'll work for you. You do that. I'm going to stop share. We're going to go back in and share again, except we'll use method number two. Again, I hit the share screen. And this time I'm gonna hit the advanced button up at the top. So I'm gonna hit the middle tab, advanced button. Over here we can see that Zoom has a new way of doing PowerPoint. And that is using PowerPoint as a virtual background. Now, when we do that, if I double click on it, then I'll need to go find the file. It won't. Even though I already have it open, it doesn't know that. I'll go find that file. I'll just double click on it. And here it comes. It's preparing, trust me, there you go. Now this time you find me, instead of that little box off to the side, I'm bigger and I can be moved around. So you can put yourself in front of the slides what that does, though, is makes, makes it more entertaining for your participants or your members. And at the same time, your presentation is about your message and you. It's not about your slides. So just remember that you want to somehow keep the your audience entertained and interacting with you. Because that's what it's all about.
And there's a little black box here in the middle, and this is how you would change your slides from here. Back and forth. Very good. Now you have seen two ways of doing PowerPoint presentation. We're going to stop share, and we'll look at the third way, which is a little bit more convoluted, but there's a, a plus side to this method. I'm going to go share. Now I'm still on the advanced tab. And instead of PowerPoint as virtual background, I'm going to say portion of screen. By doing that, then I can select what part of the screen the audience looks at or your audience will look at. And you can see right here, it looks a little funny. This is the full screen, but if I were to tab over, and you see this green box, see I can move it around. When I do that, this is all that the audience members see. They only see the things within the green box. And you can preview your slides before you present them to your audience. So if you wanted to move on to another slide, your audience only sees the flag. They don't see the side or anything else or the ribbon banner up at the top. So this is method number three. You choose whatever you like, but I would strongly suggest that you choose one of them. Get used to using this method, one of these methods, so that way you can look polished whenever you're doing a PowerPoint presentation. I hope you find this helpful and we'll see you next time.